Hi, I'm Jimmy Jackson. I'm here on behalf of Epiphone Guitars and to show you a new instrument they have uh, about to come out called the Epiphone Nighthawk Custom Reissue. Uh, Gibson put this out in 1993 and um, for some uh, one reason or another it didn't seem to do very well so they discontinued it. Epiphone made the uh, recent decision to put it out again and this is it. This is the beautiful instrument that it is and I, I want to tell you from one end to the other they did a great job. It's as if I put this uh, together myself. You know, it's it's almost like you know everything you want in an instrument. It, it, the weight is great. The balance is great. Um, a mahogany back and a mahogany neck. Uh, flame maple top. Three pickup configuration with a push pull knob to split the humbuckers on this. Um, stuff that I've never even heard of. The slanted humbucking pickup is is fantastic. Uh, um, the neck position mini humbuck is a great place to put a mini humbucking pickup because I um, I used to have a gold top Les Paul with mini humbuckers and I would go to the neck position and almost in any other instrument you go there and you find that it's a little too dark for articulation it doesn't seem to cut anything it's a little too um, kind of muddy not the case with the mini humbucker and especially in this instrument where you can split the coils here and, and make it even um, uh, bring it to the front even more um, you have like individual saddles for each string uh, with uh, two Allen wrench adjustments to uh, shape it any way you like for your action to be. Um, Grover tuners, 14 to 1 gear ratio on these. Are solid Grovers, always great tuners. Uh, the binding's fantastic. Uh, D shaped neck, I'm told. Uh, I don't know what D stands for, but it feels good to the hand. It's kind of like a, a, um, maybe a late 50s Les Paul or possibly um, uh, SG or something. I, I think it's kind of like an SG neck. Uh, but anyway, it feels good to the hand. Um, let me see, did I say a string through body, which is great for the extra sustain you get from that. And you can feel it vibrate in the wood. It's like uh, this instrument is alive, which you, which you look for in an instrument. You, um, you know, a lot of, even if it's electric guitar, uh, you'll know that a lot of the tone comes from just the way the neck and body vibrate when you're playing it. And this thing is completely alive. Let me show you the tones real quick, and then we'll get on with this. Okay, this is the um, the slanted humbucking in the uh, bridge position. We'll call this position number one. And this will go straight up to uh, the single coil and the humbucker, position two. is the single pickup. Yep. Now between the single coil and the um, and the mini humbuck. And finally the mini humbucker. That's as dark as this is going to get right here. tone knob, you can roll off some uh, some of that too. So. Going back to the um, the slanted bridge position humbucker, uh, position one, we're going to split them and go through them really quick here. This is it in a nutshell, folks. This is the Epiphone Nighthawk custom reissue, and um, I like everything about this instrument. Uh, it's substantial from one end to the other. The jack plate's heavy duty. You know you're not going to break this thing. Um, a push-pull knob to split the, the uh, humbuckers out and make them single coil. String through uh, body. Um, flame maple top on a mahogany body and neck. 
they thought about everything when they put this instrument together, and it is superb. It works. All I know is you string it up, tune it up, and you're ready to go. So uh, I'm going to show you this demo now that I've uh, worked on, and uh, a little song I wrote called Nighthawk. Thank you. Hi, this is Jimmy Jackson. I've done a recording uh, using the Epiphone Nighthawk custom reissue. I call the song Nighthawk. I, I don't know where I got the title. It just kind of popped into my head. But um, anyway, I'd like to explain to you about the five position and pickup selector switch so you know what uh, position and pickups I'm using uh, during the course of the song. So let's number them one through five. Uh, one being the bridge pickup or the uh, slanted humbucker moving towards the neck and the neck position pickup is the mini humbucker at five. Also on this recording, I'm using an Epiphone Air Screamer bass. There's only two like it in the whole world. And uh, I kind of hope they make some more because it's a great bass. I'm playing the guitar through an Epi Valve Junior 5 watt Class A amplifier that just loves uh, pedals. But anything in front of this thing is like icing on the cake. The first guitar is in uh, position one. One, two, three, four. Position two. It's position four. Now coil tap four. Coil tap two. Coil tap five. Position one. That's that air screamer bass I was talking about. Five watt Class A Valve Junior. The Epiphone Nighthawk Custom Reissue. <laughs> you can try that little move with the 14 to 1 ratio Grover tuners that come standard on the Epiphone Nighthawk custom reissue. This is Jimmy Jackson. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon.